I apologize for our sudden arrival during the frenzied events of yesterday. To start this off, I am General Manager of Marduk Total Security Company, Gilliam Thorndike. This is our Chief of Security, Qasem Al-Fayed. A pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> I was not expecting you to travel all the way to Basel, but it is an honor to meet you all the same. I've heard many a rumor about how shrewd a manager you are, Mr. Thorndike. Together with your Chief of Security's combat exploits, you make me blush, Your Highness. I am humbled by your words. I arrived in my home country a few days ago, so I'm afraid I'm not up to date on all the latest developments. But am I to understand that Marduk will be responsible for securing the city of Basel for the remainder of the day? That is correct. Off the record, a presidential executive order was issued yesterday to that effect. A CID Special Ops unit will be arriving in the city this evening. Marduk's task will be to secure key facilities in Basel until they are ready. We've also brought one of the Ix-Alba series of airships that we're currently testing on behalf of the Republican Army. Said airship will allow us to ensure the integrity of the orbital network. Our goals on this particular occasion are simply to protect this city and its orbital network. Rest assured that much like your country, we have no intention of getting too deeply involved in Basel's affairs. merit to that argument, but it also leaves out a number of key facts. You are to see that shareholders' Mira is used to generate a profit, and yet you covered up a huge potential problem for over a month. We confirmed last night that it wasn't just Almada's money being used for ill. Elsheim's investments were also misappropriated. And if these are the result of you turning a blind eye to Professor Callahan's behavior all this time... You keep your mouth shut! Just... Who do you think you are? Who gave you the right to speak? I don't care if you are student council president at Aramis. This is none of your... I am here as a special advisor for Liberal's ZCF. I also serve as a negotiator representing the Epstein Foundation. In other words, I'm here to speak up against anything that threatens their interests, which this has. Now, do I have the right to speak? Danger here isn't over. Anyone can see that. And you still intend to do nothing after what happened to Callahan? Professor Hamilton left you in charge of Vern, of Basel. Don't you feel any shame? <coughs> I, I. In any event, we now have half a day before the cogs start turning again. Even if we do nothing, the Calvardian government will see to it that matters are resolved. But knowing how egregiously my country's funds have been misused, I refuse to stand by and do nothing. So, Arkride Solutions. Might I enlist your services for the remainder of the day? Of course, you can approach the task in whatever way best suits you, just as you did in Tharbad and have done many times before. My only true wish is that you put a stop to all Mata's plans before they can bear fruit. Does this sound doable? 
We'll be well compensated for this, I trust? It's been some time, Ferida. <sighs> I hear you've been taking good care of my sister, Arkwright Solutions. As for you, Van, it's been two years, I believe. I understand you've greatly improved your use of the stun caliber and your martial arts. Reset mentioned as much. As your former instructor, that fills me with great pride. <laughs> In that, we are agreed. Still, while we might be providing our services and your weapon, I believe the contract between us to be an equal one. I hope that we can continue our fine partnership, Mr. Arkwright. Information on our concierge is classified, I'm afraid. However, if an approximate time frame will suffice, I suppose I can oblige. About a year ago. Still, I know she's in good hands with Associate Professor Archet. I also happen to bring some compatible parts that she can use. Though I regret that Ms. Twinings will not be able to provide you with any more of her services for the time being. <laughs> well, I apologize for meddling in your affairs then. With that said, we must take our leave. We've negotiations with the Republican Army to attend to. As I mentioned during the conference, we've no intention of interfering in this crisis any more than is necessary. Fascinated though I am by what a genius can achieve through an obsession that knows no bounds. Cousin, wait! There are a number of matters Abby and I disagree on. Whether you are suited to being a warrior is very much one of them. <laughs> Still, I can only assume it was the guidance of the Flames and Arusha that led you here. Battle is almost upon us, and I will be watching to see how you fare through it. <sighs> Fairy. As much as I'd love to write him off as an arrogant asshole, can't get enough of a read on him. Just how tough is he? I'd say he's one of the strongest Jaegers who ever lived.
Hello there. I hope everything went well. Thanks. Sounds like you pulled an all-nighter, huh? Looks like Zeros is up and running again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fortunately for us, the damage for him wasn't so bad. I just wish I could say the same about Reset. Putting her back to the way she was is going to take a while. <sighs> Please, don't be so downhearted. The first-rate care you've been giving me has stabilized my vitals a considerable amount. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear that. Have you spoken to Mr. Thorndike? Did before coming here, yeah. He's as much of a questionable character as I was expecting. Their chief of security is the same old standoffish grump, too. You'd think it'd kill him to put on a smile. <laughs> That's just how they are, I'm afraid. <sighs> it's fine, you know. You don't need to force yourself to speak. Um, for what it's worth, her life isn't in any danger here. The medicine you helped me with yesterday seems to have been working wonders. She's right. It has really made this easier for me. Good to hear. We sure didn't think it'd end up being used on you when we took that job on. The artificial limbs that Mr. Thorndike brought with him are compatible with her too. That's not to say you shouldn't take it easy. Anything that involves the nervous system is a heavy burden on the body. The best thing you can do for yourself right now is get lots and lots of rest. I will. Thank you. Though, I truly am sorry for not being able to support you all when you need it most. Don't sweat it. We can take things from here. You just kick back and relax. Next time you wake up, you can bet we'll have good news to share. And a hell of a big bonus, too. <laughs> I'll have to look forward to that then, won't I? Follow your hearts and act as you always do, and everything will be fine. S sorry, but I'd like to ask you something. Why? Why did you risk your life to save mine? No one should have to put themselves through something like this over someone like me. <laughs> it was because you were just so dazzlingly radiant in that moment, I suppose. What? You have so many people who care about you, and you care about them just as much in return. To someone who's lost her bonds, memories, and even body, the sight was almost blinding. I'm a little jealous of all you have, if I'm to tell the truth. So please, treat yourself like an irreplaceable treasure, not just for you. But for those who love you, too.
Wait! Please. If it's not too much to ask, could I keep helping you? I want to stop Professor Callahan and the devils who've done this to him by my own hand. No matter what it takes. Oh, Katra. Sorry, but no can do. I suppose that's the right decision after I landed Reset in a hospital bed. I wasn't able to use Fio and Zeros at even half of their potential, either. If all I'm gonna be is a burden to the team... That ain't what I'm saying. You're no burden. We're gonna need you and your engineering know-how here for sure. But we're also not a charity. We only do favors for people if the client and price are a good fit. You heard what Reset said, right? If you did, then you should know what you gotta do. And where you went wrong. <laughs> You're right. I should never have done something that would upset the people who care about me. And I never will again. I just want to stop the chaos unfolding in Basel and the misuse of technology that created it. And if I'm gonna do that, it's not the help of the police or guild I need. It's you. As compensation, I can offer you my skills and expertise on technology. I can also give you my word that I'll help Essie put Reset back to the way she was as fast as possible. Is that enough to make me a good fit for you? It sure is. We'd be happy to take that 4 SPG on. We'll be counting on you now. Couldn't ask for better than a student of Professor Hamilton's. Thank you. I won't let you down. Promise me you'll take good care of him, okay? I'll be working around the clock, too. Promise. Thank you so much. Time to get down to business. This might be fundamentally different to what happened in Crossbell, but I still think that is our closest reference point. The Orbal Network and Septium Veins were used in the development of highly advanced technology then as well. Basel City also has both, making it the perfect environment to finish what they started.
commencing mission. Stay here and relax. Let me ask you something. Stay here and relax. What are we waiting for? Now then. Can we talk?
go, go, go!
You're not getting away. Blast off! You let your guard down. This was nothing more than our response as a part of crisis management. Our firm's concierge has previously analyzed the situation. I will leave the rest to the CID and the local police, as well as them. Farewell.
ridiculous.